If you speak a Romance language, think about how weird your conjugation is for the verb to go. Spanish ir has forms starting with v as well as f and u. French alle has ir as the future stem, but also those v forms in the present. And Italian andare also has those v forms. What's going on? There's actually a reason for this. All those irregular forms of the same verb originally used to be regular forms of different verbs, but then they all got conflated and put under the same verb. For example, all those terms starting with V, they come from Latin vadere, which meant to go or proceed. But other forms come from different verbs entirely. For example, ire in Latin meant to go. This is where Spanish and Portuguese get their infinitive, as well as French's future stem. Latin ambitare meant to go round and gave us Italian andare. Latin ambulare meant to walk and gave us French aller. Even meare, Latin for to go along, gave us some conjugations in Romanche. This process, where the form of one verb replaces the form of another verb, is called suppletion, and it's not unique to the Romance languages. For example, have you ever wondered why we say go in the present tense, but went in the past tense? The answer is suppletion. Went comes from Middle English wenden, which meant to turn or depart. Over time, the past tense of wenden, went, replaced the old past tense of go. Okay, but my favorite example are the preterite forms of the verbs to go in Spanish and Portuguese, ir. These come from the preterite forms of their verbs to be, which themselves were also suppleted from an earlier verb meaning to become, which means this is an example of a double suppletion.